This world has been connected. And now darkness within darkness awaits you. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. Podcast live! This is episode number 200200 of the longest running Kingdom Hearts podcast in the multiverse. All right? If you don't know who we are, we're the Super Spaghetti Bros. My name is Mike, and this is my brother, Jason. How we feeling? Yeah! Yeah! So... Tonight, we have a very exciting show for you guys. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Reconnect for letting us be here, letting this group of degenerates come here and be here for this event. So let's give it up for Reconnect. Yes, yes. What, what a wonderful event it's been so far, and we're still going. We have a lot more to do, but we have three very special guests tonight. First of all, we're going to be joined by Damo279. And then... Here to talk about their new EP, Oath Keeper, we have Fabio the Iguana and Kim. Okay? So it's going to be a great show. We're going to have a great time. We're really excited. Uh, we should probably just bring Demo out, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Introduce Demo, Jason. All right, guys. I mean, we all know Demo. You know, he made the mobile games comprehensible for all of us. He's an amazing guy. Not so good of a bike driver. <laughs> Here he is, guys. Give Demo. it up for Demo, everybody. <laughs> hey, man. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my shins. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Demo, welcome, sir. This is not your first time on the answer report. It's not. It might be your last based on that last joke. Uh, <laughs> but we're really excited to have you here, man. How's Reconnect been for you? Reconnect yeah. has been incredible so far. Absolutely unreal. Could not believe that I was even going in the first place and now it's just been an absolute whirlwind from start to finish. And it's been amazing getting to meet so many of you guys um, yeah. who like my content. That's unbelievable. Doesn't make any sense to me, but <laughs> thank you. I do appreciate it all the same. They're real. I, I have had multiple times where I just listen in on someone talking to you, and they're like, yeah, man, thank you so much <laughs> for what you did for, for Union for Cross. For my service. Yeah, yeah. your for service. Like, <laughs> the thing for making people not play a video game. Yeah. Like, I don't, it I don't doesn't make a lot of sense. Purple Heart or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you're not just a Union Cross guy, though, right? Like, people know that, right? I'm the Union Cross guy. You're the Union Cross guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> but you, you've actually, we have the uh, Million Dreams Awards later. Who's excited for that? <laughs> we're, yeah. we're hosting that, by the way, so you guys are going to get sick of us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He knows. So you're nominated, actually, for three different awards. Do you know this? Two and a half. What's the half? What oh, is? oh. State of the Heart, hey. the podcast. Ah. I'm glad you brought that up, actually. Uh, the podcast you do with Water Cage. Shout out to Water Cage. I, I see him right there. Water Cage. Uh, when, when's 
that podcast coming back? Because I feel like... <laughs> Look, you make four episodes, you take a little eight-month hiatus. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you come That's back normal. every Do yeah. you guys have any plans in the works to... There was this whole fan dub that I started working on, and that it's sort of consumed a little bit of my life. But look, hey. Yeah. It's not, not, not yet. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Don't worry. Uh, so I, we were actually on one of the four episodes That's of true. your podcast. That's true. Which yeah. I think is really funny. That <laughs> we were on it, and you are we drove everybody about away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so you're, you're also nominated for Content Creator of the Year. Uh, C C O T Y. If you're nasty, what, um, <laughs> what, what does that mean to you? Say. As you know, like a a you know person in this community, like I mean, that's got to be huge. You know, it's very extraordinarily humbling. But I feel like there must be some sort of caveat for like you have to have made content this year to be nominated for content creator. I think you just made the cut. I don't really. <laughs> I mean, I put out ten. Yes, fan dub part one and two this year. But that, you could even like. It's one video in a way, two videos? I don't know. I feel very humbled, I guess I should say. But. <laughs> no, no, dude, you deserve it, man. You're, you're, you're incredible. <laughs> Speaking of that, let's talk about the, uh, I mean, that's the Union Cross stuff. I originally, when I was writing on questions for this, when I knew we were going to do this, I was like, my first question was going to be, when's part two coming out? But then you said, gotcha. <laughs> you said, right before Reconnect, I'm releasing part two. You got it done. Uh, how does it feel to finally be done with that project? I know it was a lot for you. <laughs> um, it would feel amazing if my brain didn't say Dark Road is even longer than oh. Union Cross Part 2 <laughs> with so many upperclassmen, lowerclassmen, Disney characters. I'm like, I feel great for about one second when I push the button. I'm like, okay, cool, Part 2. On to Part 3. <laughs> so is, I mean, are you actually going to do that? <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> I did promise the people I would. It's in the, uh, it's in the very end of the thing. So you promised the people, you said, hey, I'm doing this. The very end of the video goes to be continued in part three, um, which I know you remember. I, I definitely watched it. Yeah, yeah I course. definitely watched yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which I know you remember very well. Fun, yeah. fun fact: if you guys have like really keen ears, you can hear me and Jason. We're doing like crazy impressions, so it's really hard to tell it's us. It's but true. We're, we're, in we're, in there. we're in there. You're also laughing your way through the entire line. It's beautiful. Yeah. You're like <laughs> the darkness. <laughs> it's great. I love it. We're, it's really great. We're not professional voice actors, no, okay? Not at all. Like not at all. Um, but no, man. First of all, I just want to say. You know, peop uh, we were joking about how people go, oh, Damo, thank you for your service. But honestly, with that Union Cross <laughs> dub, that's like a huge deal for the community and for people that, it's not just, oh, I don't want to play this mobile game. It's kind of impossible to play it in the right way anymore with changes they've made, right? So it's like, this is like, instead of just going through like a spreadsheet of like scenes, it's like, hey, this is like an entertaining thing to watch. And that was the idea, like reaching out initially to people with this silly idea of, I've already got all the cutscenes in order in one single video. You could add some voices to it and really like enhance the enhance the experience of people, you know, put some emotional weight behind it in some places that through text couldn't really be delivered. Um, was sort of the idea behind it. And I hope, yeah, if people want to play Kingdom Hearts 3, Kingdom Hearts 4 going forward, they're doing their entire run through the series, they're doing a rerun. Okay, this option is there for them to potentially, oh, I don't like the mobile game so much. Well, maybe if the story's delivered in a different way, maybe give it a chance and you might. So. Right, right. Definitely, definitely. Well, yeah, it's so good for, you know, so many new people coming in and checking out the series. Now it's say. like, okay, so you can watch like a bunch of like cut together videos for the story or some theory videos and you can do that. Or you can just like chill, not have to read anything, you know, get your food, your YouTube and watch <laughs> the fandom, you know? That's yeah. so sick. Yeah, that's awesome. awesome. I shouldn't act like it's only me alone that did this again. Like there's so many voice actors sure. that just through complete generosity of their own, just reached out to me straight away and said, yeah, I'm happy to do this. The amount of times I've been on stream editing it together and just mentioned, oh, it'd be cool, like, what if we could have this? And the, turns out that voice actor is lurking in chat right. and has just DM'd me the thing I've been talking about five minutes later. I'm like, every single person I met through this entire process has been incredible. Like, Eric is sitting back there, has just reached out to me so early on and said, you, you don't understand how complicated, you live in Australia, you understand you're trying to co coordinate with Americans that need to speak to each other right. and get organized. She put together a million spreadsheets for me, like, and yeah, could not possibly have got done yeah, anywhere close to without us. It's okay. Yeah. 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 It's not just one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even close to a one person thing, but yeah, it's, yeah. I'm really glad to have it done and I, ho I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, we get it. Kingdom Hearts, power your friends. Okay. All that crap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, like, you, you talked about, you know, there were, like, 
I know you guys did a lot of casting for this. <laughs> like that, to me, that seems like the most time-consuming part of that is listening. Because I know a lot of people submitted. Like, can you, I guess, can you just talk about yeah, what yeah, that yeah. process was like? When I first got into this, um, sort of with that one tweet, one tweet from my you know pretty small Twitter account. And from that, that spawned about 450 auditions for the, what is it, 18 to 19 different characters we were talking about at the time. So that just immediately blew my mind. Of, I mean, I, I put myself in this thing like an idiot thinking that, okay, no one's actually going to want to do this. It's going to be like a project we all undertake as like some sort of service to people. Right, so right. I'm not going to ask someone to do something I wouldn't do myself. All right, I'll, I've already recorded all the cutscenes as Damien. Well, I'll do that. It'd be weird to cast someone... As, as me, what you, oh, I should have a really heroic voice sounding as the vein. It's, just, it's like a lose-lose scenario either way. So one character out of the way, but then yeah, 18 more to do. And from one tweet, about 450 auditions came in. It was just wow. like, oh, and again, that's when the spreadsheet started immediately. Of like, you need some way to categorize this because you can't remember what you had for lunch this morning, let alone how the 35 different brains sounded. Do they sound slightly better than the other? So yeah, from the, from the jump. Uh, <laughs> No, that's crazy. I can't imagine. That's wild. Uh, I guess another question about that process. So there were, there's a couple characters in that story that have like canon voice actors, right? Yes. So when you were casting for that, was it like, I want to replicate exactly what that voice actor did or the closest to it, or I want to find someone that maybe has a different take on it? So there were multiple factors, right? I think for established characters, yeah, getting as close to the mark as possible to what a character already sounded like definitely took precedent. Um, if I was to do it all again, I don't know, it's like the actual sound quality, like acting ability and closeness to when I or st established voice already. I'd probably, I mean, everyone did an amazing job. I'm not, yeah, a, a, an insanely incredible job right. for, you know, a free fan project. But, um, yeah, once we started getting, like, really, really high quality acting in from professionals that are like, I'm going to do this to you as a favor, but, like, this is my full-time job. And right. the bar was immediately set to pretty much the ceiling. Right. Um, yeah, I guess we'd be wanting to to shoot for like okay, really good mic quality and, and acting ability and stuff if we have the luxury to do so the next right. time. Right. Well, um, like availability too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's so many factors at play. Um, so I don't think I answered your question. No, nah, you did kind of. Was, you you <laughs> rounded about. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> Sound, so, sounded like good. I mean, yeah, did you guys it, hear that like, Chris Burns is the master of masters? Yeah. I don't know who's watched that, but. It's incredible. Ray Chase almost to a to a T. It's right. incredible. Yeah. Right. You you couldn't if you told me it was, you're like, actually low key, I lied, it's Ray Chase. Like, Half a like, chat's well, like, yeah, it's him. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, it's yeah. uh, an absolutely huge undertaking. Split into two parts because there's no way it could have been one video. You know? Um, <laughs> there there was a bit of a snafu there. You didn't you didn't get it done as quick as you wanted to, right? Uh, what are you talking about? No, 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 I mean, you know, <laughs> there's something that happened. We don't have to talk about that. But yeah, I just want to say, um, you want to talk about it? Yeah, go. All right, so what happened? What, what happened? What, what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just riding a bike as I do pretty regularly. Try to get, a, you know, sit at a computer editing all day long. Try and get a bit of fitness in. You go for a bike ride and then I guess once every 20 something years you fall off and you <laughs> break an elbow and fracture a few bones and some hands and you end up in a couple of casts <laughs> like a big robot man and you go, let's, I guess the fan up's gonna wait a little bit. Right. But, yeah, oops. Yeah. Well, and I know you're an extremely hardworking guy. Was there a point I, where, you, now don't shake your head at that. You are, <laughs> uh, was there a point where you're like, well, maybe I could like type with my nose and like, try to keep working on it? Yes, yeah, so my left uh, foot is actually amazingly ambidextrous on the keyboard. Oh, so, no. that yeah. is, I was gonna say, that's a really like strange fact for you to share with us right now. No, no I mean, <laughs> honestly, really early on, I had like this arm brace that attaches to the desk and I was like, I can kind of, I kind of put my arm in it, and that's got the keyboard, and that's pretty on the mouse. It's kind of what I need there. And the left hand had almost recovered by then, so I had like two fingers working that. <laughs> the right hand could do the control mouse. Control C, Control V. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. AI, G Chat GPT voices. Right. Like, yeah. That's right. <laughs> well, either way, dude, you did a fantastic job of get, putting the service out for everybody. I know there were a ton of people involved, so let's give it up to everybody yeah. who helped with the Union Cross dub. <laughs> give it up for them. Incredible work. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna switch gears here. 
I need, I need people to shut the doors back there and lock them because Damo needs to answer this question. We can't let him leave. We can't let him leave. <laughs> I know you know, Damo. <laughs> I know you know. Right. I know that Square Enix Japan has told you. Where's Missing Link? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I kind of talked about it this morning. As you guys would know, having yeah, watched I was here. I was the Landy not Lodge Park. No, you weren't, of course. No, I was definitely yeah. here. Alluded to. I hope it exists. I really hope that... Square Enix is not too late to chasing the Pokemon Go trend and isn't just going to cancel it the way Niantic is cancelling mm. all their Pokemon Go knockoffs. Mm. Where is it? Uh, tomorrow. Uh, three, two, yeah. I was, hoping, I was hoping that you would say, hey, it's ready now for all attendees of Reconnect, right? And if you look under your seats right now, there's the Google Play or Apple, <laughs> Apple password. Punch that into the store. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah. I wish, man. Um, Square Enix doesn't... They don't care. I mean... <laughs> you, you make a good point about it was kind of chasing a trend that's not really a trend anymore, and there have been bigger properties that have kind of taken that trend that have failed pretty miserably. Um, are, are, are you nervous that they're actually going to do that? I mean, if I could, this is going to sound insane. If I could somehow get all of the lore from that game without it being a gacha game that consumes and ruins my life. I'm down. I don't know. <laughs> if maybe, they do a dark road again. Maybe they should reach out to you and you can just do a dub of it. Oh, now it's all, Yeah, I'd love just that. Just dub it before yes, the game another comes one. out. Be yes, good. more. Thank God. Oh. For free, of course. Yeah, for free. They're not going to pay you. Of course, no. They, everybody knows their stock tanked because of Final Fantasy 16. That's so what They don't, they don't have the money for that. Uh, <laughs> why would games trade That's not stock? why, guys. It's not. Um, it's probably like Marvel's Avengers or something. Um... So switching gears again, because I don't think we can squeeze any more juice out of Missing Link. Sorry, guys. I wish I had more to talk about with that. <laughs> Bl blame Screen Enix. Um, what, what, um, are you, you watching any content creators, any up-and-coming content creators that you like? You watching any, any YouTube or Twitch streamers or anything? Dude, I'm like? such a scumbag, man. I just like... <laughs> <laughs> we in my head, yeah, yeah, you know. In my head, I'm like, I want to do all these lore and theory videos. I've got these grand grandiose plans that will, you know, slowly, hopefully, hopefully will happen again now that the dub's done. But I would hate to feel inside like I've stepped on anyone's toes and like taken their idea and run mm -hmm. with it. So I'm just like, when I've done the video on the thing I want to do, then I can watch the content on it, which doesn't make any sense really, because how would I even know if the idea's in the thing? Right. So short answer, no. But recently, again, trying to, you know, meeting people here and trying to get out of that stupid mindset and downloading some various podcasts and YouTube videos and stuff. Right. Um, so I, I don't think that makes you a scumbag because I have a really hard time watching Kingdom Hearts content okay. because I just, like I, the every joke I've ever made has been stolen from somebody else. So <laughs> I, I have this yeah. really bad habit of naturally like assimilating something I watched and then going, oh, I stole that. But it's subconscious, uh, right? Right. It's subconscious. I'm not yeah, doing it on yeah. purpose. I'm yeah. not like, hey, give me that. But uh, It's mine. It's mine now. <laughs> But I, so I have a hard time watching like stuff where, and then I'm like, so I, when I do now, what I try to do is if I want to talk about it on the podcast, I'll just go, hey, this video is done by this person. You should go watch it because I liked it. And then I just don't talk about it and then it works. But that's fair. That's fair. But yeah, yeah. that's a little easier for us to do than for you to do, you know? I mean, you guys, to, to your horn for a second here, as a, someone who made it through all of four episodes of a podcast before being like, hey, it is time. <laughs> Reaching 200 episodes. <laughs> for a podcast consistently in a row yeah. through the massive drought. That is an Thank insane you. effort. And you know, a couple of weeks off here and there is still absolutely incredible. Like yeah. you guys should be seriously very, very, very I'd proud say we live to 200, but yeah. we got there. Hey, we you got, got there eventually. Well. Thank you, man. That's really, that's really nice. Um, wow. That's so, I, I, he threw me off my game, guys. Good. I'm sorry. That was too nice. Gotcha. Uh, so uh, kind of on the same question, which you didn't really answer again. Okay. Uh, I dodged. Do duck on my yeah, yeah, no, you're doing great. You're, He's you're, a professional. You, you, I don't know what analogy I was going to make. Muhammad Ali, something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> please laugh. You, please laugh. Uh, <laughs> <you're>, <laughs> do you have any advice for someone who's maybe here in the audience or maybe one of the millions and millions of people watching at home on Cage, right. on Cage right. Guide's Twitch channel? That's right. Do you have any advice for somebody that wants to, even if it's not Kingdom Hearts content creation, maybe it's speedrunning, maybe it's any, any game. Do you have advice for somebody that wants to get started on that? Getting started, yeah. I mean, I guess if you can somehow find the happy overlap between content that you want to make and content that no one else is already making, then you'll be passionate about it. You'll get your start, and then you'll be bad at the start. I mean, God knows I'm bad now still, like making my stuff. We're awful. <laughs> We're the yeah. worst. But at least yeah. you're passionate about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
it'll keep you going and you'll keep you motivated and you'll, you'll see yourself improve and you'll see a couple more views trickle in and then eventually, like, you'll be doing it. I mean, look, Missing Link is, in theory, coming out one day. If no one in starts theory. making content about it, well, then you could be like, hey, I actually really like this game. I like the gameplay of it. Maybe I want to do some guides for it and that just, it gets the ball rolling, right? You're like, oh, okay. Content uploading is not such a scary thing. Like, it's actually very achievable and attainable. That was me for Union Cross, right? Well, Every especially single... since you started, it's gotten a lot easier, too. A hundred percent, yeah. The yeah. barrier to entry, I don't think it's ever been lower. Yep. Um, um, just, yeah, if you can find an overlap between content you're actually passionate about making, you know, just try and do it. An audience exists for it. You just got to try and find it. And, you know, you got friends in this room right now. Try and reach out to them. Yeah. That, and that's, that's a good point on that, too, because, like, one of the things that kind of, and we're by no means the we're here on a stage at a con, so I guess that makes us decently successful. But when we started reaching out to other people like you, like BioRoxis, shout out to BioRoxis, everybody. everybody. <laughs> people like that, like Water Cage, people like that, it, it really unlocked kind of our community and how we, you know, because yeah. we, had, we had a decent amount of people that are, a lot of them are here today. Thank you for being here. Uh, <laughs> but that really unlocked, like, kind of uh, our potential to kind of not, I don't want to use the word viral because that doesn't make sense, but just kind of to spread out throughout this community and, and be something, you know, fun and, and that people are watching. So, um, great, great answer, Naomi. You, you nailed that one. You didn't dodge that one. Um, <laughs> did it just as we scripted it. Yeah, yeah just, perfect. Just as you That's rehearsed. rehearsed. That's right. Nailed yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you kind of hinted at this with the Dark Road dub possibly being the thing, oh. but what, what do you, what's next, dude? What, what's next for Demo? I'd like to take a whack at some of the theory videos that I've been like scripting for forever and then forgetting about and putting in like a little vault well, somewhere. That's what was so crazy, like watching you do the fan dub, you know, editing it and everything, part, what were you at, like 12 or something, final part 12. Yeah. And uh, he's, on doing, time, he's yeah. doing all this super hard work, you know, changing levels, doing all this stuff, losing marbles, you know, and God. the whole time he's just like actually making like theory videos with people in the chat while he's doing it. I'm just like, holy cow, dude, I can't like edit this, talk to chat, and also go over some like my new Kingdom Hearts lore. It's so crazy. Yeah, I, I can't do one of those things well, let alone all three at once. Like that's a no life Kingdom Hearts. That's all you, that's. The, the only time I'm able to talk about theories is when I have someone like you on the podcast and you start saying stuff and then I like rephrase what you said to be my idea. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I got these theories down a lot, guys. Don't worry about it. And then uh, we get to three and a half hours, and you're like, man, Damo, please, I, yeah, yeah. we gotta go. Dude, yeah, the, stop. the best like, thing enough. about this being live and we have a time period is that I can kick Damo out. At one point. <laughs> uh, Any minute now, like, yeah, we have the floor falls out from underneath yeah. me. So <laughs> that that question, Jason, kind of like took it for you. But the, what are you what are you working on, man? The theory videos, what else? Yeah, I was sort of. Yeah, that's a million theory videos. I've got to do Dark Road Explained. I've like, I wrote the entire script for it, and I was like, let me just finish the fan up. It's like a week away from being done. That was in February. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So I should finish that. The ones that actually have a proven success track on my, on my channel, I should do more of those. <laughs> so I'll do Dark Road Explained eventually. I've got to get this like weird Yozora versus 13 nonsense video sorted out. That'll be the next one, probably. All right, nonsense. Awesome. We, Nonsense. Not, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, right, guys? Nonsense. That Nomura again. Uh, added that Kingdom Hearts nonsense to everything now. Uh, so I know, Lord knows you did not get enough FaceTime at this event. So is there, before we let you go, dude, is there anything else you want to say to not only the beautiful people here, but the beautiful people watching at home at twitch.tv slash cage guys? <laughs> Just enjoy reconnect. I just been, it's been such a pleasure meeting you guys, and I hope to meet the rest of you before I get to take off. It's been insane exploring America so far. First few hours were fun, uh, but after that, <laughs> but after that, it's been nothing but amazing. So yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. Uh, so people know what hotel room are you staying in? And what time? Are you oh yes, yeah, so you want to go up to the fifth floor? Okay. 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 All right, what's, the, what's the last number of yours? Oh. Uh, 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 505, I think it was the room number. There you go. You've heard it here first, folks. That's where I'll be. That was someone's room number, and they're very upset. Uh, anyway. I'm not there. I'm not there. Damo, it's always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you so much. Everybody, give it up for Damo279. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, Thanks, Damo. Appreciate it, man. All right. So.
Now it's just the boys. <laughs> that was messed up. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Have, I haven't cussed yet, have I? I have no recollection. <sighs> yes. Family friendly. Here we go. All right. So before we bring on our next guest, there's somebody I, uh, very special I want to shout out in the crowd. It's been their birthday all weekend. Okay. So I, I just need everybody to join me in saying, happy birthday, Boomer. But on a serious note, it's actually Miss Weinrib's birthday. So happy birthday to Miss Weinrib. All right. So our next two guests that are joining us are like an extreme power couple, you guys. Okay. They just released their EP, Oath Keeper, featuring three vocalized Kingdom Hearts tracks. It's been playing during the downtime and reconnect if you've been watching on stream. And it's incredible work. Ladies and gentlemen, Fabio the Iguana and Kim. Come on up, guys. <laughs> Awkward side hugs. Yeah. All right. Have a seat, guys. Welcome, welcome. Check, check. Yeah, are you... People hear you? Can they? I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I can, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kim, is yours on? I don't know. Check, check, check. Yep. Yeah, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so welcome, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us on the 200th episode of the Answer Report podcast. Longest running. Longest by running, by the way. Right. Uh, so Fabio, <laughs> I didn't say this in his introduction, and I should have, and I'm a terrible host. <laughs> Fabio actually composed the Answer Before Podcast theme song as well. So let's give it up for that awesome theme song. Uh, it's so much better than we deserve. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it's, it's, it makes us look like we're really high quality when everybody knows this is just like a joke of a podcast. Uh, so tell us about Oathkeeper, guys. What, what brought this on? Why, why, why are we doing this now, I guess? Yeah, so what it started as, it's funny because this actually kind of takes takes me back to the to how I got connected with you guys, which is, you know, March Caprice. If Shout out to March Caprice, everybody. What March yeah. Caprice is. So, uh, an online fan event for Kingdom Hearts that's um, been done three years in a row now, and they have a music segment where they offer, you know, musicians to do arrangements and, and uh, be featured over the weekend, and that segment has grown and become this, like, really awesome thing where they, they it was like multiple going days multiple now, days. Yeah. And so I've done a song for that event each year. The first one I did was Sanctuary. Did a cover of Sanctuary with her singing. The second year I did uh, the Hollow Bastion cover, yeah. which is the, the, the theme. And then this year I did Simple and Clean. Yeah. So then I have two of the songs, right? So then I was like, okay, well, I gotta, I gotta do the rest of them, the right? Rest, right? So right. then I, I started doing Don't Think Twice and it ended up becoming like, it's like six minutes long because I, I you know, really fleshed out some parts and made it very artsy and stuff. And so then I kind of ran out of time to do Face My Fears. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it didn't, it ended up, my idea for that didn't really end up making sense for the vibe of what the rest of the songs were doing. So, so yeah, and I mean, obviously, you know, she is an incredible singer. That's, Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I haven't really, really mentioned this yet, but actually Kim is my wife and we met uh, in the music department during college. Yeah. That's part of why I, you know, was attracted to her is because of her <laughs> amazing voice. And so I have been, I've been trying to encourage her to, to, to sing and, and get her, you know, put herself out there for a long time. And so this is kind of like my way of mm -hmm. getting, yeah. getting her to, to so, yeah. so what you're saying is you're tricking her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so. it's, been, it's been nice because when we were in college, I actually performed a lot. So I participated in a lot of like performance-based classes and concerts. But becoming a teacher, I'm only singing kids' songs all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I lose what I used to like practice. Yeah, you're and not my voice is gone. You're not doing the Mariah Carey move in your uh, class, definitely right? not, no. Yeah. no. That, they, they might be a little confused. Like row, that. row, row your boat. Yeah. So, you could spice that up though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
That's awesome. I just imagine him like rocking out to some ABCs. Yeah, dude. Oh, absolutely, dude. I play a mean twinkle, twinkle little star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so that's amazing, by the way. Um, why the name Oathkeeper? What you know? Yeah. Some people like Oblivion better, right, guys? Uh, yeah. Well, they're wrong. Yeah. No. no. We just split the room. Oh no. No. No, Oblivion is fine. Uh, Oathkeeper's better, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Hey, that's what's up. Okay. Well, so I was actually having a lot of trouble coming up with a title for the album. I like didn't even know if I wanted to make a title. If I was just going to be like Kingdom Hearts vocal collection or something. Right. And then I was, I was talking with. Uh, David Russell, who uh, is a pianist, he's a part of uh, Project Astati. Shout out to David Russell. Yeah. David Russell. And he's, he's really, I, I really like bouncing ideas off of him because he, he's really good at, at like collaborative thinking mm. and stuff. And so, I, I, Oathkeeper is my favorite Keyblade. And I also think that there's like a sort of symbolism behind that Keyblade between like, you know, Sora and Kairi's relationship. Right. Regardless of how you feel about who's with oh. who or whatever. Oh, hey, hey, wait, 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 yeah, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't need to get into that. Hold on. But <laughs> it's relevant because, you know, with me and her, like, you know, I, the symbolism of sort of more romantic symbolism in the game, I, I, it resonates with me because of, you know, the relationship I have and, and, and things like that. So the Pau Pu Fru has kind of become a little bit of a symbol between us. And the, she knows that I like the Oathkeeper right. Keyblade. And so it kind of just made sense. I was like, you know what? I think because it's the union of our musical, you know, our, our partnership of musical skills, I was like, I think, uh, I think that's the right yeah, idea. Yeah, it checks all the boxes. That was yeah. such an incredible answer. I'm really? like in awe. <laughs> I was like, man, this is way more thought out. I was like, oh, I like Oathkeeper or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I was like, oh. Well, oh, I was, okay. so the reason I mentioned David Russell, though, is because like him, him and I are, are scheming to possibly make a... Uh, like progressive rock slash jazz fusion uh, cover album of Kingdom Hearts music. And we're thinking it might be called Oblivion. Oh, Ooh, right? Okay, so like, okay. okay. Oblivion. And then the album you and I are working on is going to be called Ultima Weapon. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's, that's Decisive Pumpkin. Oh, sorry, Decisive Pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so, you know, obviously you guys have been here, you know, for Reconnect. For, let's give it up for Reconnect again, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kim, were you, I guess I don't know this story, and, and shame on me for being your friend and not knowing this, but <laughs> did you get dragged into this Kingdom Hearts thing by, by Shane, or was it, was it, oh, uh, I kind of like this, or did you have no knowledge of Kingdom Hearts at all before you started doing this stuff with him, or what? Okay, so I've never played the game. I only know about it because of him. Right. Because I'm a huge Disney person. Mm -hmm. I love Disney parks. Like... Mickey Mouse, he's my, he's my mouse, you know, and so when we first started dating, um, he showed me the game because he was like, hey, look, it's Tinkerbell, your favorite person, and then, like, he would just show me because I loved Disney, and so, like, over the years, I just knew it was, like, his favorite, but I never really got into it like that, mm. um, and, like, for me, I do so much at school, and he's always there 100% of the time, and he's always so supportive, and so... I just know like this community in Kingdom Hearts is so important to him. Mm. He didn't really say like, oh, come with me, like let's go. But it was more like, oh, there's this really cool thing happening. Like, do you think you want to come? You don't have to come. And I don't know, I just thought it would be really, really important to just be there to support him and like see the people that he talks about all the time. <laughs> and, and I don't know, just be there for him. And also for me, see a community that I have never been familiar with it's super, super cool. Mm -hmm. And so when he heard, like when I told him, oh yeah, I really, like I think I want to go. He's like, really? You want to go? Like, And okay. you guys have been having a great time, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you guys are so literally cool. melting my heart. Like, it's just like, <laughs> I'm crying in the club right now. Like, uh, the, cue the Grinch thing where his heart's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no. yeah. Triggered. <laughs> Corn's triggered right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you, could you say that you, you're, you know, and this is okay because we're all Kingdom Hearts fans and all of us hate Kingdom Hearts. So yeah. you, you, you could say that, you know, not really your thing, but you, because, you know, 
the Disney aspect of it and how much he loves it, you're just like, yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm, yeah, 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 exactly. That's awesome. That's yeah. so awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I have a girlfriend that's like that too. She, she's definitely, <laughs> she, she's definitely not as into it as I am, but that's okay. Um, I, I actually don't like Kingdom Hearts either. So, it's okay. <laughs> um, so is this like, you guys, you guys did the CP. It's amazing, by the way. I've listened to all three tracks numerous times. Not just. It's out now. It's out now. It is. Go check it out. Um, is this the last we see of this kind of partnership in, in releasing music? I don't think so. I, I just uh, kind of like, kind of like Damo, it's like, I just I just finished, so I don't really know like what my next uh, what my next scheme is, other than like you know the the possible uh, uh, the other Kingdom Hearts album. I have ideas of things that I want to do, but a lot of so much video game music is not vocal, right? right. There's not vocals involved, so you you kind of have to be you have to be kind of delicate, I think, with when you choose to do vocal covers because people are a little bit more sensitive to yeah. like because. Vocals are something that anyone can relate to, even if you're not a musician. If you like music, it's like you, you're going to be more critical of a vocalist than you are, say, a guitarist, because you just understand how the voice works more than, say, a guitar works. Right. That's, right. You know, possibly, right? And so, I, I feel nervous to do cover cover songs with vocals because, especially these Kingdom Hearts songs, I was very nervous to do them because they're kind of like sacred. Yeah. You know? Right. Like Inutada is like been on she is so talented she's been on all the songs mm. it's like it's a little nerve-wracking you know to yeah. to i but i trust her and that's why like well she knocked it out of the park right she's incredible, yeah. so. and she brings her own thing to it you know it's like has its own sound which right. i i think is also important so it's just like to answer your question if i come across like uh an idea that really grabs me that has vocals then yeah definitely okay. awesome yeah. awesome awesome so i i guess I mean, I, Jay, I feel like I've kind of been dominating this interview thing. This is what I do. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you have any, any other questions for these two before we, we let them talk about where the people can listen to That's what I was just going to ask. Where can, where can we find more? This guy. Where can they go to find specifically you guys? Yeah. Uh, so you can find me on Twitter, at Fabio the Iguana. Uh, I'm pretty, that's like my social media that I'm most active on. So anytime I'm doing any music, I usually post about it on there. Um, the music itself, you can. Uh, there are links. Like I have a, a pin tweet on my, you know, on my Twitter that has the links. Um, um, actually, it's called X now. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna call it. <laughs> Me neither. Never call Me it. neither. Um, uh, it's on YouTube. I have a. The YouTube channel is called Meadow Vista Media. It's a music production studio that I have with a good friend of mine, and um, we do we do other content. We do themes for podcasts and stuff. Um, but that's where I put, you know, any covers that I have is mm. going to go on there. So that, that's where you can find it now. It's not on streaming yet. Sounddrop, who's my usual go-to, they're having a bit of trouble right now. There's like a, a lot of delays and just a lot mm. of um, customer service uh, kind of issues, which is not their fault. It's just kind of part of, you know, they're, they've had to deal with. It's part of know, streaming. Yeah. It's yeah. Part, yeah. yeah. It's, and the, the way that they do their licensing, it's like, I don't know. It can't, it can't be profitable, but yeah. they're doing it anyways. And so like, I'm, I'm a... It will be. It will be on streaming, and it'll be under actually my real name, which is Shane Plunkett. I go by both, so you, you people, you know, if you come up and say hi, you can call me either Fabio or Shane. That's totally cool. What if they want to call you Plunkmaster? No, 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 no. I didn't agree to that. Absolutely not. <laughs> I wanted to call you that all weekend. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It just rolls off the tongue. I don't know. Yeah. That's a pretty good name. No, you stop. like it? Yes. Hey, if she likes it, I think I, I think I can do it. Stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, thank you guys. Thank you so, so much, much for, for, be, for being yeah, here. Yeah. And, and everybody, please, please, please go listen to their music. It's incredible stuff. You guys have already heard it on the podcast before. This is even better because it's not just Fabio. It's Kim as well. So go so, listen. Let's give it up for Fabio and Kim, you guys. Uh, Fabio, we actually have a bit of a surprise we're gonna do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You wanna you wanna do that still? I'm down. Are you sure? Oh, I'm yeah. a little nervous. Oh, I'm not. I'm ready. Okay. I'm well, let me to it. let me go grab what we need real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> so by the way, if anyone, uh, I have these little like. Uh, sort of mini business cards that I made just for the EP, like has my information on there and has the artwork that was done by Red Coconut Studio. She does uh, 
artwork for a lot of video game cover artists. She's really good. Check her out. Um, feel free to come up, say hi, and I'll, I have plenty of these, so I'll give you one. And uh, yeah, check it out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So, a hundred episodes of this podcast ago, we had a song that was pretty intrinsic to what our podcast is. Um, that I wrote on a whim as a joke, and everybody loves it for some reason. <laughs> so, uh, Fabio, being the absolute mensch that he is, has decided to play this for me. Oh, yeah, oh, there we're we gonna go. A, we're going to mic? Yeah, here we go. Let's go, baby. Production, baby. Yeah. Point it. Um, yeah, yeah. You got it. Thanks. All right. So, if you know the words to this song, for some reason, you're a psychopath for one. But two, maybe I, I'm, a, I'm a little nervous. I'm not much of a per performer. See, I'm like stuttering. So sing along with me a little bit, OK? You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. KH phone game, Mr. Nomura. <laughs> Download blue stacks and grind on your computer. Make some new friends, they all have big keys. They'll all be dead by the end of the story. Dark Road, take me home to the place where I belong. Scarlet Kayam, Zayn or Mama, take me home. Dark Road, all right, I need everybody to sing. Here we go. Dark Road. Take me home to the place where I belong. Sky and Kyle, say to Mama, take me home, Dark Road. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Ansem Report Podcast live, Woo. episode 200. Thank you so much for being here. This is like one of the goals I had when we started to gain traction on this podcast was, I just want to do a show in front of some people. And you guys have made that a dream come true. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you to everybody who's watching at home. Thank you to the Reconnect team for allowing us to be here. You guys are incredible. This is an incredible con we are putting on right now. Um, we're we're gonna end end the podcast now. I guess that's wait, wait what do I right, say? Right. No, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here's yeah. the deal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> normally I say something like, Jason, hit him with it. May your heart be your guiding key. And if you know what to say, say it with me. <laughs> now Duck off! <laughs> you guys were all terrified. I saw all of you. I saw, I saw everyone's face go white. Yeah. He's not going to say it, is he? Thank you, thank you so much. Yes. Um, we would love for you guys to all take a picture with us real yes. quick. But also, right after Melody of Madness with Andy, so don't go anywhere. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, That's not what we're supposed to say. Ooh. It's right here. Oh. So, this is, you guys know I love The World Ends With You. It's my favorite game. <laughs> That's uh, Cap. That's Cap. <laughs> are y'all ready for your next mission in the Reapers game? Here to present, once we're done with the picture, the final mission of the day, it's Kitties and Mitties. So she's going to come out and do that. So stay, stay put after we take the picture, and she's going to do that. Right? Yeah. Is that right? OK, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. My sources. Yeah. My sources guys. are telling me. <laughs> All right. Whoa, I got. <laughs>